giant. Look at that thing. Whoa, please. That one? I got one! And I don't know which one to say! <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Angler X video. This is part two of searching for trophy pike. In this video I'm joined by my wife and we put some great fish in the boat as we continue to work these weed edges. I think you're going to love this week's video searching for trophy pike. Don't go anywhere. Today's video is brought to you by Liquid Willow Cat. Go to liquidwillowcat.com to see their full product lineup now. Oh. Now bad time to pick on you. Yeah. It's a tank. No net, tank, no net. No net. Hooked up on her first fish. I was just dealing with her line and this guy cracked my spoon. It's a real nice fish. Lay it down on the front there. There you go guys. Giant fish. We're gonna get a measurement and get her back. That's an awesome fish. Look at the size of the head on that thing. There we go. Almost 36, just over 36 inch. It's our biggest fish yet. My biggest. Not your biggest. Beautiful. A little lamprey scar on them or something. Nice job. All right, where were we? Uh, we were fixing my mind. Just using that uh, jigging spoon that I ended up with yesterday. Mickey's throwing the jake. Drag to this. Oh. Yeah, right? I just can't get a good hook in him. I don't know if he's big or not yet. Yeah, he's good. Not a giant. Nice one though. Great fish, probably about 30 incher. He's cracking that spoon. They're all real fat fish, feeding good. They don't look like that in the Mississippi. And he's gone. After trying different baits and presentations, we found that the pike were not reacting to a straight retrieve. To get these tight-lipped fish to bite, we jigged and popped bait and knock, laker taker spoons in and around the weed beds. The abrupt rise and fluttering fall of the laker taker was just enough to turn these fish on. Crushing them. Crushing them on the spoons. Now we're in 11 feet, maybe 12. And you can see this dark red line is the bottom and then you can see the weeds right below us. We got weeds all around us, so I'm on spot lock and we're just casting around. 
See the water temp's cold, 57 degrees. These fish are active, that's great temperature for catching them because they release well. There's a lot of boats out here. <laughs> well, we're gonna top that because we're top. You brought me. You jumped up and down on the bed and said, Nikki, get up. It's time to go. I tried to shut the door and leave without you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey. I'm in here. I've been happy sitting at home, reading a book, eating, 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 eating. Find these pike we are targeting weed beds in 10 to 15 feet of water. The weeds are mostly surrounded by a flat sandy bottom so the weed edges provide excellent cover and ambush points for toothy pike. Oh let me get a, a fish. Let me get a shot of that. Thanks this is great footage. These are the weeds we're fishing in. Stringy leafy weeds. Nikki was kind enough to bring some in for the video. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it would be good footage. Oh, that sun sounds nice. What is that sweet, sweet heat warming my body? Oh. I think it was meant to be a flower. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Giant. Look at that thing. Whoa, please. Oh. What can I do? Nothing. Okay. Just, just clear the camera back there. You got it. Oh, that's the one I've been waiting for. Built so heavy. Heavy fish. What is that? I'm not sure. Old tag. Tagged fish. Let's see if I can get the numbers off it. Mm. 
Uh, fish tag. I don't see any numbers. I don't see any numbers on it. There we go. Giant pike. These fish in here are so thick. Look how, look how wide that fish is. It's tanks. Thirty-seven and a half. It's our biggest yet. Uh, tagged fish. Oh, can you take a picture of this? Close up. I later reported the tagged pike to the Wisconsin DNR. The DNR responded, and I learned that my 37 and a half inch pike was 34 and one third of an inch two years prior when it was tagged in an electrofishing survey. The pike is now estimated to be nine years old. Tagging studies provide information on important population characteristics such as size structure, movement, age, and growth. I think you're a good angler. <laughs> now you're trying to backtrack? Yeah. <laughs> so you legitimately do. Nice little pike. That giant, he cracked it. My jigging spoon is still working. Just had to get out on this edge more. Are you popping it? Pop it and let it let it sink. That one that one hit it while I was sinking. I just felt like a little thump on my line. Pop pop. One, two, three, pop, pop. I just I can't tell the difference. It looks black to me all times. Pop pop. Right you. Pop, pop. <laughs> no. You do I'm what you gotta do to put a fish in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's, trying to catch a fish. That means pop, pop, and then you do that. <laughs> I'm getting a wrinkle because I'm concentrating so hard. Pop, pop. I feel like this is pop, pop. Oh, ching, ching. Pinked it. Come on. Come on. Got one. I got one, and I don't know which one to say. <laughs> that was a really cute laugh. Good one too. Okay, just trying to dislocate my shoulder. English, sir, can I can I get your assistance? Oh! Oh! oh gotcha. Woo! Fine, I'll take a picture. Here, smile for the king. Let him get back into his natural habitat. He was like, woo, that was dramatic. There he goes. I get five more minutes. Where's my rod?
been contemplating that would be closer to the best that I can do. <gasps> it's getting so close. <gasps> you got one! <laughs> oh, right by the boat. That was cool. I saw him grab it. Right that was really cool. I saw it too. By the boat. That was cool. I saw him grab it. Right. That was really cool. I saw it too. Thomas. Here we go. Another nice pike. Just a little guy, but he crushed it right by the boat. Might be our last fish of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Right? Right. Get him back. <coughs> bless you. My goodness. What? I said bless you, my goodness. Oh, why well, thank you. Okay. You got a camel. <laughs> Smooth. I was like, oh yeah, I got it. Smooth as ooh, butter sounds good. I like butter. Butter. I think a place like this just forces oxygen into your body. It's my body shutting down because it's cold. <laughs> okay. It's like we're gonna die, so just go to sleep. It is a thing, you know, people's bodies shut down when they're cold. I'm one of those peoples. That's how oh, whatever makes me. Wow. Oh dang, my diddly dee dee dee, I'm out of the little dog. Hmm, fishy, 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 fishy. Your what? My little thing came out of the little dee dong. My spoon came out of the water. Oh. My little thing came out of the little dee <laughs> I don't want to say that three times. I sound very impressive. You're getting brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, pain and joy. Such conflicting feelings in my body. It's like, why are you laughing? It's cold and you're dying. Oh, boy. I really like a fish. All this madness. <laughs>